the market and improving your financial wellness. Now, here are your hosts, Don Getling and Gino Fronti. Malfunctions and uh, we're ready to go for the second half because this second half is going to be amazing. We have information that unfortunately pretty much everyone needs to know about because accidents happen and we have a, an incredible couple guests here to share with you what happens when accidents happen. We have uh, Gerald L. Marcus with the law offices of Gerald L. Marcus and Matt Cray in aboard today. Thank you for joining us guys. Thank you. Hey, see, he's got good radio voice already. Yeah, jump right in, not a problem. Hey, and you can you can speak too, Matt. It's okay. Oh, buddy. thank you. I'll, I'll get in there. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, you crayon boys. I don't have to worry about you, man. Yeah. Yeah. We, the gift of gab. <laughs> yes, you guys do. They're from New Orleans. What else? They, they, they who dad? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There we go with the whole. Let's not even get into football because yeah. these guys are going to be out of control for the next <laughs> few months. No <laughs> doubt about it. So we have some great information that uh, they're going to share with us. What happens when? You get in an accident, but there's so many other factors uh, that a personal injury attorney, an experienced personal injury attorney uh, like Gerald L. Marcus, can assist you with. I mean, we're talking uh, since 1987. 87. All right, yeah, and been the, a few years. I'm kind of stoked too because we're uh, fellow matadors. That's right. Uh, Cal, Cal, Cal State Northridge. That's right. In fact, you entered lending in 1987, so there's a theme here. That's true. That's it. We've been in, we've been in our industries the same same length of time, but you actually had a head start in it like seven years before that, right? Something right. Like that. 1980, you were already in law. In 1980, I started working for a big personal injury law firm, not knowing that I wanted to go to law school, and uh, I did their investigation. So I kind of learned the from the ground up how to develop and put together a personal injury case. And it was while working for this law firm that I, I was going to CSUN, and then went to law school at night, graduated, and started my practice in 87. Very cool. And, and what's cool is, um, uh, we're going to go into more details um, regarding what uh, Gerald L. Marcus and his uh, group do for you. Um, but of course, top of the hour, we always start off with what's going on in the r real estate and finance markets. And uh, all I got to say is $17 billion. That is finally a pretty good chunk of money uh, that B of A is looking to get hit with. Um, again, Considering the amounts of money they move around, it may not be a huge, huge number, but it'll be one of the Bigger larger. Than chases. I was gonna say it'll be <laughs> one of the larger settlements that happens. Uh, you know, and the truth is, at the end of these things, the banks are all coming out just rosy. They're not gonna have any problems surviving. They made it through the second worst with economic downturn. Help. Yeah, with, with a little, little help from the U.S. government. So this is call this payback. Yeah, no doubt about it. So seventeen billion dollars settlement. Where does that money go? You probably wonder. Well, believe it or not, they have to help a lot of you out there, whether it's modifications, whether it's, uh, um, you know, reduced cost homes, helping, uh, you know, um, undervalued areas and so much more that they have to get involved in. There's four states vying for it mostly, which is, of course, New York, California, Virginia and Illinois are all fighting for nine billion of the 17 billion. So. Well, and you know, Gerald, you could tell us a little bit more about how these settlements work, uh, you know. My impression is that 72 million people will receive a $52 check and the attorneys walk <laughs> out with the rest of the money. Is that accurate? That's what they say in <laughs> class actions. The yeah. attorneys get uh, the lion's share of that money. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, I know when I see that Verizon loss for $2 billion or something like that and I get it, it's, you know, $4 check. I'm yeah. Like, Woo! Or they won. One, month, one month free insurance on your phone if you, if you happen to lose it that month. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that we just thought we'd share with that. But it's, it's one of the biggest settlements of, of all of them. I mean, uh, J.P. Morgan Chase was at thirteen billion, and now B of A got slapped a little harder, but they'll be just fine. So don't you worry. Okay, and then we always go over uh, something that's very important to our recovery, and we go over it every week because it's all about trends. It's not about a report. If you were to hear about uh, the report back uh, in July regarding initial jobless claims, we had one of the lowest numbers we've ever had in, well, in quite a long time at 279,000 people filing for unemployment, basically. Well, one of the things we always said on every one of our shows is don't get excited by one report. Right. Uh, especially the stock market tends to get really emotional and all of a sudden, you know, people go out and buy stock or they go out and sell stock. Uh, the good news is that the overall trend is good. This was a higher number than we wanted to see today. I would have liked to see something right around 300, but 
It's not a bad number. So. Yeah, I mean, we're trending at 305, 303, 279, 30, 303 again, then 290. And then there's 311. So we're, we're just, we're not out of the woods. The key thing that we want to let you know is, you know, the job, labor market is recovering. Uh, Firm, if you could throw up that other report there. Basically, now, you know, this report, if you go to donandgino.com, click on listen and chat live, you can see this live, and we have a report up on it. The base will show that, you know, basically jobs per household um, was at 1.24 back in 2000, into 2007, and then it dropped all the way to 1.15 jobs per household. Good news is we're back up to 1.2. Uh, but what uh, are those jobs? I was just going to bring up the <laughs> bad news about that is yeah. maybe that 1.2 jobs doesn't yield the same amount of money that 1.1 nope. jobs used to. And why we're taking so long for this recovery. A lot of uh, part-time jobs and a lot of you out there not getting those races you used to get. Yeah, we talked a little bit about that because there's price pressure on employers coming from different facets. Uh, you know, it's not just about whether they can or want to give raises. Maybe they do, but payroll taxes have risen and uh, health care costs have risen. My health care costs are astronomical. So thank you, Cherry Creek, for taking care of most of that. Yeah, no <laughs> doubt about that. It, it, it's definitely affected our uh, proper loss here without a doubt. All right, so the jobs are slowly recovering, the economy is slowly recovering, but we are getting out numbers that are just showing that. It's just taking some time. Um, home builders are building about half the amount of homes they normally build on, on an annual basis. So it's going to take some time for us to get out of this, but we're going to let you know that rates are at all time, you know, what some of the lowest numbers they've been at, shoot, what, eight months? Pretty much all year, yeah. yeah. It's, been a, it's been a really good time right now. Uh, I would say take advantage of the things that are happening abroad that are bringing rates down because the local economy isn't really that bad to have rates be where they are. Uh, you're dealing with a little bit of fear of what's happening in Israel and a little bit of fear of what's happening in Europe. Uh, so take advantage of low rates while you can. Yeah, when rates are in the low fours, it's time to go because they were up around the you know almost 5% before. So make sure if you're going to purchase your first home or your next home or refinance or get rid of that mortgage insurance, talk to us at Cherry Creek Mortgage 855 on Gino. All right, don't go away. We have Joe Del Marcus Bomber here talking about personal injury and how you handle that because accidents happen. We'll be right now.